What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Date! 12, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? Morning, Mr. Phelps. This is your mission should you choose to accept it. Should you or any member of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your actions. Start in five seconds. Mission Impossible was released on May 22nd, 1996, and today marks its 25th anniversary. So, does it hold up? I've always heard things about Mission Impossible series, but I've never just had the ability, nor just, I don't know, wanted to watch the franchise. Watching the first one, it was released back in 96, 25 years ago today, so I was intrigued. I was really interested in how the first one will start. Apparently, it gets better and better after the second one. Impression of just getting better in terms of the like, actor sequences and whatnot, so, and because of Tom Cruise being insane. So this first one, I was definitely intrigued by the opening. It sets up an interesting premise of Tom Cruise, aka Ethan Hunt, getting exactly his revenge on the people that portrayed him and leading his team to their downfall and all them dying. But then your boy Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films. I don't know the character's name or the actor, so I'm just gonna call him Uncle Ben. We've only seen his actor from Spider-Man movies. But Uncle Ben is the one behind it, pulling the strings because of reasons I don't care for nor I forgot. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. It sets up an interesting premise and then it just, I don't know, it kind of doesn't do it. Pulls back on it as like a surprise twist, a twist or just just having a twist i don't know it was kind of a bit of a disappointment and for a start of a franchise it's decent but i don't know kind of a letdown in terms of the opening and setting things up only the pull the rug from under audiences at least for me then we got tom cruise eat the hunt we got his whole team which who's like uncle ben the hacker guy his girlfriend and claire i think her name's claire the girl who supposedly comes back a lot his new team that he sets up he lost the team guess what he's going to set up a new team and then the technology and like i guess devices first of all the face mask thing <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's a bit ridiculous. I'm gonna lie, I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be like a big thing in these movies. This whole face mask thing, like, rips it off, Tom Cruise. This is gonna become an issue because it just sets up to be kind of a problem later on in the series. Who knows? And then seeing Windows 90s, you know, technology and PC and monitors. That's a cool throwback. I remember my sister still kept her 90s 8 Windows PC. And I remember playing Sonic on there in the old Tomb Raider game. Another, like, just tripped down memory lane being like, yeah, I remember playing this. And then his new team. Turns out one of the guys were in cahoots in the beginning of the film. He helped destroy his team in cahoots with on himself. Also, I'm not gonna lie. And when Uncle Ben was about to be the one pulling the string, Ethan Hunt figures it out. Everything else after that kind of feels muddled because I was just so let down by the fact that, okay, it really, I don't know, it was so simple. And they just had to make a twist. Why would you do that? But either way, Claire, for example, she comes back mysteriously, super sus. It's like, he almost kills her. Even when she showed up and she was supposedly died in an explosion, I like, this girl is super sus. She just survived somehow, explaining to Tom Cruise, being like, hey, I survived somehow. She's in cahoots as well. And Tom Cruise's character already kind of knew about this. And Uncle Ben, which I do like. He figures out by the time. Uncle Ben reveals himself by the faithful. It's like he knows that he's not a good guy. He's not a good person at all. So I do like that. And there's also like his own agency or government thing. Basically, whatever he was on, going after him as well. But he's a rogue agent now. He knows these things and needs to be dealt with. Own government, or whatever. Chasing him while I find out the truth of what happened to his own team. And then find out his own team was in cahoots and pulling the strings, all that stuff. And then Uncle Ben's character trying to get this disk drive or hard drive that has classified information that can probably ruin ideas. I don't know, ruin the world or something like that. They're trying to steal it. They get information from it. But one by one, each of his team members die. The hat guy jack i think he dies in an elevator and then slowly but surely explosion dies and claire and then his girlfriend dies and uncle ben dies and it's like okay such an interesting premise with a deflating sort of reveal but it was a cool way to open it and be like okay this is his revenge a very story simple revenge story i'm intrigued i'm interested i'm hooked and to find out uncle ben was behind it all because i don't know the proof ethan had something again i checked out i was like okay I, don't, I really don't care anymore he's a villain all right whatever they have like a cartoony train sequence but it's all right speaking of sequences i guess the one big one is the whole tom cruise being hanging out from a rope thing <laughs> That's using like promo images and like super well known, so I kind of knew that going in. And then Tom Cruise himself, I do like his character, him being mindfucked by everyone, not knowing who to trust, his own agency, his own team when he shows up. He's still super sus of them, thinking that he, they're dead, but they're just back alive out of nowhere. His mental breakdown is super interesting. The whole team dies, he calls this one guy who's like trying to go after him as well. The only one big thing that I got out of this was a whole big fish tank. He shoots it and it just comes crashing down. I don't know how they did that, but that looked really cool. And then there's this scene, okay, I don't know if it was just me, but it felt like it went on like a minute way too too long where he's like researching it's like he's researching a lot and they're spending a lot of time on his face on the monitor whatever portable pc whatever researching it's like why is this hold on for so goddamn long and it just it revealed be like he sees uncle ben and it's clear she's back in the room so okay but that was held on for way too long he goes to meet max because he needs money and he already know what's gonna happen he has his own agency going after he's going to this building so he plays sort of a double agent be like hey i need your money but guess what people are coming and it forces her to give you know him money which is a smart thing on his part he gets the money and then this max again forgot about this 
Max character, but it comes back around with the agency meeting her and they confront her talking about what she's doing and wanna. They deal with her. And again, like I said earlier, he meets a new team. One of them is in cahoots. When it is revealed that Uncle Ben is in the cahoots and all this, he doesn't like again. What what gets to him is that his girlfriend died on a mission, on the job, they failed the mission. And now only that he felt betrayed, he cannot forgive Uncle Ben whatsoever. And the end leaves him fighting, he defeats him. And after all that's done, he just relaxed. He's in a plane and whatnot. And then I think it ends with him getting another mission. I think again, a little hazed on what actually happens. I just checked out. I think it ends with him relaxing, getting his exacting his revenge, and then all is done. How do I not mention this? Conic me and every time Every time I hear this theme, I just see Tom Cruise running and running with his back straight and everything. It didn't happen here, but it's probably gonna happen in a later film. And then that's how the film ends. Oh crap, this is gonna be a horrible video. But either way, that was Mission Impossible, the first one. Kinda let down. I don't know. It was setting up a very simple story, revenge story. Found out that there was a mole in his team. Uncle Ben was the mole. He did it because, uh, I don't know, for whatever, he's a bad guy. Okay. And Zack is revenge. Probably gets another mission. Dealing with a bunch of mental breakdown. I do like that aspect. That twist just kinda ruined it for me. I don't know what people think about this film, but I'm assuming because the others are better, it might be at the bottom. Him, but Mission Impossible 25 years later it holds up in terms of being an action film but in terms of the twist I don't think so there's some cool elements with the whole rope tie thing and the face change thing hilarious but probably doesn't age well but it's ridiculous so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching